Hi, this is Jim again. Welcome back to English 100. I want you to think of this semester as a conversation. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about the nature of that conversation and the kind of connections you need to make to successfully participate in that conversation. So to extend the metaphor, we can look at the guiding question for the course as a conversation starter. Why should we work? We're going to answer that question. We're going to explore it in a variety of voices. For example, we're going to look at what other writers, philosophers, thinkers, workers, contemporary Americans, educators have to say about work. We're also going to look at art and film and how they send messages about work and how those messages relate to the written discussion that we explore in the class. We're going to look at very closely at your ideas about work as you compose papers, contributions to discussion forums, and blogs for what will ultimately a blog, be a blog portfolio at the end of the course. And the blog portfolio is an important point that brings you to one other level of conversation, which is with the general public. A blog is something the whole world can read, and you're going to be sharing your ideas about work with a broad audience in the world of blogging. During the course, there's basically going to be uh, four formal conversations that go on. So outside of the discussion forums, outside the back and forth of activities in Blackboard, you're going to have four major projects. The first will be a paper that answers the question, why should I work? You're going to explore not necessarily why you are working now, but why you want to work. What are the ideal reasons that you would like to be working for? Then we're going to explore a book by Ken Bain called What the Best College Students Do. And we're going to explore the relationship between college learning and work. What does one, how does one influence or affect the other? Then you're going to find a book about a career of interest to you, either the major you're studying or a dream career that you want to find out more about. And we're going to explore that career and what it suggests about work and the skills you need to succeed in work at whatever level you choose. And then finally, we've got the blogging that we'll be doing throughout the course. You'll be doing eight blog posts. You'll pick four of those to include in a final revised portfolio that becomes your final exam. Now, in order to have this conversation, in order to do the formal writing and the informal dialoguing that we're going to have in the course, you're going to need to learn strategies for how to closely read college and professional and academic texts. And we're going to teach you a technique called CTEC. And you can see the basics of it outlined here on the screen. And you can read more detail about it in the syllabus. Please make sure you spend some time with that idea. We will be practicing this technique throughout the semester. You're also going to need to connect with classmates if you want to be an effective participant in our conversation this semester. So I encourage you to reach beyond our classroom discussions, get some email addresses, get some phone numbers, talk to each other, work with each other, build a support network in the class. You want to connect with me. You want to stay in touch with me, and that's why I ask you to do things like text me and email me. That's why I require three face-to-face -face conferences during the semester before you turn in each of your major papers so you get some good detailed feedback so you can really succeed on those projects. And then finally, I want to remind you how important it is, even as an online student, maybe especially as an online student, to connect with campus support services. Obviously, the most important one for this course is the Writing Center, but you might also find the need to connect with Veterans Affairs or uh, counsel, academic counseling or health services or any number of services that you can use as a college student at Miracosta. And I've got a nice list with links of some of the most commonly used ones in the syllabus on page four. I hope you'll use that as a springboard. So remember, we want to have a conversation. Remember that to have that conversation, you need to be connected. Conversation and connection, the keys to success in this English 100 course. I'll see you out in Blackboard. Don't hesitate to text, email, or call me with any questions that you have.